Hi all, <clears throat> it's uh, Kim Flidoff back again. Yeah, um, just picking up on the points that we're going through this um, part of the report. Uh, the evolution of learning and teaching. It's, uh, it's quite significant. I think there's been a fundamental shift and that shift is largely about uh, our emphasis on uh, the difference between knowing and being able to do something. So the, what we're seeing in Australia is the development of learner capabilities becoming far more important than any snapshot moment of knowing. So uh, simple um, knowledge-based tasks, aren't all that useful or all that relevant uh, in the way that, that we're moving now. So to know about something isn't enough anymore. We need to know how to do something, when to do something, why to do something, uh, and, and who to do it with. And they all take priority over knowing a simple answer. So this whole, uh, th this shifts our assessment approaches, it shifts all sorts of things. I wanna play a quick short video, uh, which highlights how we're approaching some of that stuff in Australia. We wanted to talk about 21st century education. We are living through an educational revolution. The pace of change is staggering. Schools, regions, entire countries are turning education on its head and redefining the experiences of students and of teachers. The impact is felt by millions of children and their families around the world. Let's consider for a moment the world in which they live. A world with so much knowledge it's hard to grasp. People are creating 2,000 new websites every hour. They are uploading 35 hours of video every minute and watching 2 billion YouTube videos every day. By the time they leave school, teenagers average nearly 1,000 Facebook friends. They connect with people thousands of miles away as if they were in the same room. They consume, produce and communicate information in previously unimaginable ways. They truly are the children of a globalised world. And where are they heading as they grow up? To a hyper-connected world with more people and fewer resources. A busy and competitive world full of uncertainties. A workforce that is more mobile and better qualified than ever before. And careers that span multiple jobs, positions and skill sets, some of which haven't been invented yet. In response, education leaders are making big changes, building 21st century skills, using enabling technologies, and personalizing learning to engage students in diverse and creative ways. In South Korea, schools are switching to digital textbooks so students can study anytime and anywhere, with online hours recognized as school attendance. In Denmark, students are using the internet while taking exams they can access any site they like, even Facebook, as long as they don't message each other or use email. In the USA, ultra-personalized learning approaches allow students to create their own individual schedules. Their interests and performance are logged daily to generate playlists of learning options, with teachers' time freed up to mentor and supervise students. Learning can happen anywhere and everywhere. That's why some Australian schools are pushing learning beyond school walls, where internships with local organisations are a fundamental part of each student's learning plan. Distance learning programs are connecting seriously disengaged students with online learning communities and personal mentors to help them rediscover their love for learning. The opportunities for 21st century education are immense. These examples point the way to ensuring that tomorrow's workers Parents and citizens are more creative problem solvers, better communicators, and lifelong learners. To make sure that change happens on a massive scale, we need to make big changes. Yeah, we do need to make big changes. Um, and some of those changes really come back to the classroom, to pedagogy, uh, and to the way that we utilize technology and create learning opportunities for our students. So um, I'm hoping that we'll have more of those discussions uh, over the next few days of this conference. Thank you.